we're going to be installing a bass string, bass string number 10 on a Steinway L, which I ordered from Mapes. So we're going to start at the bridge, hitch pin end, and before the video started, I made sure that my little vice grips would just gently um, tighten onto this hitch pin so that I can put this string on. Put on the vice grips, and now it's not going to pop off, except my gloves are caught in the vice grips. I'm putting the string over the bridge pins. Now, we've got braiding here. In this case, the broken wire just happened to go on top of the braiding. If it was one that went underneath the braiding, I would have to remove the braiding up to that point, put on the string, and then rebraid. But it's, it's easy to do. So if you have to unbraid, um, do put the string on the way it was before. Now I'm going to go to the other end. I'm depressing the damper pedal. I'm taking note of what side the damper wire is on so that I put the string on the correct side. some other tools that I need. I have two bags of tools, one that I need for occasionally and one that I need every time. So this is a tool I need every time. I'm going to need to cut the wire. I'm going to need to coil the wire. I'm going to need needle nose pliers to transfer the coil. And right now, what I need is my string hook. I'm gonna use the needle nose pliers. And the string hook to guide this wire. Depress the damper pedal again. I'm now going to cut the wire. I use my fingers as a gauge, but I'm actually going to make the gauge look a little bit short. Usually I'm on the far side of the coil, of the tuning pin. And my, this finger is on the side of the pin closest to me, but because there's so much slack, I'm actually going to go to the other side and then make my cut. Double checking, I'm through the A graph. It's in place on the bridge. It's still hooked onto the hitch pin. Cutting. I'm now going to coil. wire and I'm going to make two and a half turns and my glasses are standing up from the mask I want the wire to be just coming through the coil and I'm gonna go one two and a half. I'm going to use the vice grips. I get such a good coil on it. Very tight. To 
get the jacket out and put it in. And I already backed the pin out one turn. So when I removed the old coil, I backed the pin at one turn and I made sure that the becket was, I might have to change glasses. Got a second. Changing glasses. I've got I wear the gloves when handling the base string so that I don't get any um, hand oil on the copper. And if you wear bifocals, it's really handy to have a pair of glasses that just stays in focus your arm's length. So I'm now inserting my ductile pliers next to push this in. It went in beautifully. I'm now going to use my lifting device. Lifting. No, not yet. What I have to do next, and this is so important, is I need to give, and this is a base string only, I need to give the base string a half a twist at the hitch pin. So I use this tool. I better put my gloves back on. This tool, can you see what I just did? And I'm looking at the direction that the, the winding goes on this um, wire, and I'm going to give it a half a turn. It's going this way, so I'm going to go half a turn like this, and now it back on the hitch pin. I hope that was clear, but you need to do that with the base strings to give it that little bit of additional tension. Otherwise, you'll have a really dead sounding base string. Now, I can proceed to lift. I'm going to give it a turn use my duck belt tire pliers and back it goes in again it's looking good Lifting again everything looks good making sure nothing's crossed over up of the coil here but it, it looks really good three turns and it's going to go crazy out of tune so i'll keep up with the tuning of it but the, the main thing is that you've made it through the a graph before you make your coil that when you put this string in that you're, you approach it on the correct side of the damper so you're not so that it gets under the damper and not next to the damper wire that you gave it a twist at the hitch pin 
that the braiding pattern is the same as it was before. And that is base string installation.